is the first time my mom was very supportive. I think it's just a team. Like, I find, like, our team, like, she and Rachel, we were really good. Well, welcome back to the Auto Body Source podcast. Um, we're pleased to have on board today um, an, a recent uh, Auto Body Source uh, industry partner, uh, Collision Repair Education Foundation. We have the executive director uh, of the organization, Brandon Eckenroad. Um, anyone who may or may not be familiar with uh, Collision Repair Education Foundation, or better known as CREF, they are a 501c3 charitable organization uh, specific to the collision repair uh, education and training. Uh, and today, Brandon is here uh, to chat with us uh, about the importance of businesses uh, getting involved with local high schools um, and post-secondary uh, education and collision uh, training programs um, to help students in fostering the next generation of industry professionals. So Brandon, welcome. Uh, always glad to uh, connect with you, and we're glad to have you here today. Thank you so much, Nolan. Great to be here. So one thing I thought we would dive in with is uh, to get an idea of what the role of an, uh, a business in this industry looks like in terms of education um, on the education front. So I think um, as this industry, um, like other technical trades, faces you know that aging workforce um, and the need for entry level staff to kind of be brought into the trades, I think um, the collision industry businesses have a, a sense of ownership and needing to get involved with their local schools um, to make sure that not just the students and the instructor, but also the administration um, and others at that school are familiar with the industry and the different employers that will be seeking out these students. Um, so that relationship is key to make sure that these programs, uh, whether it's a high school or post-secondary uh, collision school program, uh, we need to make sure that they're well supported. And that support comes in many different forms. Um, but the, the local schools need to be able to see who's waiting for their students and, and showcasing the many different career paths so that those students know what those opportunities are within our industry. Yeah. Is the, is the need for... Uh, the that these students need the support that these students need rather is this something that's you know kind of lost on industry or businesses or I know the technician shortage itself is not new is that something that businesses ne um, need to be reminded of or become more aware of I think they do and you know CREF plays a role in helping to connect businesses with local schools uh, because we support or I should say any high school or post-secondary collision school program across the country is under our kind of umbrella of support of who we're looking to interact with and support, um, you know, those those businesses better understanding what they can do to help solve this issue that we're all facing. Um, and a lot of that work comes down into the local level. So, you know, CREF um, has a long history of providing, you know, whether it's monetary support for scholarships and grants or in-kind donations um, for tools, equipment, supplies that these programs need. Um, there's a number of things that local businesses can do that they might not always be familiar with that, um, you know, help make sure that these programs thrive and are producing a quality entry levels uh, candidate for the industry to consider for employment purposes. Awesome. Awesome. I know we have some images of that. Um, we here at the Auto Body Source do our best to encourage our vendor partners and distribution partners to participate. Um, I know that the uh, in-kind donations are definitely helpful. From what I understand, you guys um, since 2009 have provided and funded over $400 million in donations to high schools and post-secondary collision programs across the United States. Um, one thing I found interesting was that a s inventory that a business might not uh, think is uh, usable for a student actually really is. It's things such as um, damaged product? How, how does CREF help um, a business um, funnel that, that uh, inventory uh, to a student for practice? So what we do as many of these uh, school instructors, and we just heard last week when we were out at uh, SEMA, um, you know, a lot of these programs work with very limited program budgets. So while the expectation is high on them to produce quality entry-level staff, 
um, sometimes because of things outside of their control, whether it's, you know, underfunded program budgets or not having the right tools, equipment and supplies. Um, those in-kind donations are vital for local industry members, whether it's consumables, whether it's, you know, at a body shop or a dealership, you know, them saving their scrap fenders, bumpers, hoods. It gives the students, you know, current um, up to date, whether it's training tools, materials, consumables, things like that. So businesses that might have products and or there's other companies that might have other things that they might want to consider for donation to local schools through CREF, um, they can reach out to us and we can help find local schools in their markets. And um, sometimes we have, you know, local companies that are looking to help local schools, but we do have other companies that, you know, can help schools across the country. So we help facilitate that donation, whether it's the company being able to ship those directly to the schools that we help identify who are looking for support or of us taking that donation in and as over the year, over the course of the year, uh, when students or schools instructors reach out to us, you know, we've got that, that donated product ready to ship out to them, which only helps further and enhance their, their education, their technical education while they're in school. That's awesome. That's awesome. I know one thing I picked up on uh, even before we went to SEMA this year was that you guys outfit the students themselves um, to be career ready ahead of time and companies play um, a large role in that um, you get with the, the Cref sh uh, shop shirts, right? And the uniforms, right? So it's um, 2024 will actually be 15 years of us um, allowing companies or working together with our partners at Cintas, but local companies can adopt local schools and help and provide a professional appearance for their students. So, you know, a Nolan's Auto Body in Phoenix, Arizona could help adopt a local school that helps provide, you know, the student tech shirts, work pants. And then you can see that the company that helps make those possible, they get recognized by having their logo as a patch on the front of the shirts. And it goes beyond just providing uniforms, which Nolan, of the 400 plus million that we've distributed, a lot of instructors have told us that these uniforms of all things have made the biggest impact on their programs, not just with making the students look professional, but they are treated with a new level of respect um, by administration and others because they look like live working technicians, which is great. Um, but the other piece is that that company that sponsors the uniforms for the local schools, uh, we have the uniforms sh shipped directly to the school, but we ask the instructor to hold on to the uniforms so that the sponsoring company can come in and be the one distributing them and handing them out to the students. So it's almost a networking opportunity as well, where that company can talk about what are the different career opportunities. Um, and it helps kind of energize those students to understand that there is this industry out there that is looking for them and they get to meet those industry employers or contacts that are interested in seeing them succeed in their school. And then hopefully, obviously, entering into the uh, collision industry field um, after they get out of school. That's awesome. That's awesome. You, CREF also hosts um, regularly uh, career fairs, right, for these students. So those same, that same uniform and some of those supplies they get the students are really equipped from beginning to end uh, to interface with potential employers, it seems like, and uh, equipped to to get started in their in their position. Right. Absolutely. And what we do is because we're so well connected with the schools and the instructors, because that's who we support, but then also the industry members that make that support possible. Um, since about 2015, we've been organizing and facilitating um, collision student career fair events around the country, which bring together uh, local and national employers and then those local students. So those students not just hear about this industry from their instructor or inside their schools, they're actually meeting, networking, and sometimes being hired on the spot from these industry employers that are there either for employment opportunities or there's companies there that might be in the tool or product space that just want to showcase um, that they're there for the students, that they're, you know, they're interested in them coming into this field. And sometimes they're doing product demonstrations and things like that. So those events are great just for helping to connect both parties um, and hope for you know, further that conversation between both groups so that we can, again, see those students enter into the industry to address the, the aging uh, workforce issue. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you guys also help companies, companies and, and businesses have the opportunity to uh, provide PPE also, I remember. Yes, we've had companies uh, like just, for example, MCR Safety out of Memphis, Tennessee, they typically donate anywhere from 20 to 30,000 pairs of safety glasses. You know, we've got other companies that donate, um, you know, disposable dust masks and work gloves and earplugs um, and safety glasses and things like that. So um, it's always a good thing to help uh, install and kind of emphasize the, the need for being safe within these programs 
that hopefully that they carry onto their their work uh, workplace. But again, we could not do that support or provide that support without our incredible industry partners um, that we have. That's great. So if a, a business wants to take the next step, how do they get started with um, partnering with you or, or, or a school um, in their area? Sure. So they can visit collisioneducationfoundation.org, uh, which is our website, and there's contact information listed there. But it also helps to outline some of the different things that we're doing, um, like we've talked about. But then we also offer up um, student scholarships and school grants. Um, just last week out at SEMA, um, at, during our benchmark grant breakfast um, that you were able to attend with your team. And thank you again for attending that. We were able to provide um, nearly $700,000 in monetary grants um, to schools. So schools from around the country had the opportunity to apply for those grants, uh, which we are actually able to award um, to 139 schools. Those were the grants were given out last week, which will impact um, roughly about 7,000 students. Um, so those um, grants, again, help with the students and schools and whatever they might have or whatever their needs might be within those particular programs. Some need help with recruiting additional students. Some need updating with their tools and equipment and supplies. So the grants that we offer, which are, again, made possible through our incredible industry partners, um, help kind of remove some of those financial barriers that the programs are facing um, and helping these instructors who, again, are a lot of times working with very limited program budgets, but the industry is coming full force to make sure that they've got some of those things taken care of, which again, in turn helps the students, both current and prospective future students as well. That's great news, always great to hear. Um, I think it's good to, to hear this as, many as much as possible, as often as possible, and we definitely are glad to help spread the word. I'm definitely glad to chat with you and catch up with you again, as always. Um, and uh, we will look forward to uh, catching up with you uh, in the near future. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Thank you so much, Noel. Appreciate it. Again, as Brandon mentioned, um, for more information, uh, be sure to visit collisioneducationfoundation.org uh, to get started and find out how you can support your local uh, collision repair training program.